I'm gonna try a little something new for this update. For tapes that I found something in the vertical blanking interval on, I'll show the what I found in the vertical blanking interval right after I show the tapes that were associated with them. The tape inside is actually James Lauren's A Lesson. 14th day, 1992. So the print date is January 14, 1992, and it has those blue ink printings. It says 65554 slash 128661 James 31038YKT 40. So this is duplicated by WRS Motion Picture and Video Laboratory. And it has the oversized reels. Unfortunately, this tape would not play properly on my pan on my Panasonic VCR. Yeah, on my Panasonic PV9450. But it seemed to be playing fine on my one of my other VCRs, one of my other Panasonic VCRs. It was the black one that it was not playing correctly on. The gray one, it was. It played just fine and rewound just fine. Yeah. And it even messed up the picture on my PV9450, but I managed to find a way to fix it. I, I just cleaned it using some isopropyl alcohol. I just cleaned the heads. Seem to be working good now, so. So unfortunately, due to it not playing properly in my Panasonic PV9450, I wasn't, I was not able to check to see what this has at the end. I don't know if I'll ever be able to. I'm not 100% sure if it's gonna play properly on some of my other VCRs, but we'll see. If I do manage to catch the end of this, I'll let you know. Top's a little dirty there, that's all right. I'll let you pause if you want to read these questions and think about the answers to them. Any answers that you might have. Like, especially if you've seen this film. And something to think about. I'll give you a couple seconds. Or else you can pause them if... if or else you can pause if you need more time. Duplicated by Allied Film and Video. And the inside of one of the windows looks a little dirty. It has one little spot right there, but uh, looks like the tape still plays fine. I did check. As I, it played fine as I was checking to see what the vertical blanking interval was like on this. 216th day in 1994, and 220 at day 1994. If you know what the print dates are on this, you can let me know in the comments. Unless I find out myself, and then I could update you in the description if I find out myself. And here is what I found in the vertical blinking interval on this type. So there you go. And this is probably my second, my second feature films for families tape that was duplicated by Allied Film and Video. The other one being Buttercream Game, which was actually Seal when I got. Programs from 1972, I believe. Number 12, 33rd week in 1994. And here is what I found in the vertical blanking interval on this type. So 
So there you go. I'll let you read these questions and try to think of some answers to them. If you like, especially if you've seen this film, I'll give you a couple seconds. And you can always pause if you need more time. Caution to parents. A sad scene showing the death of the father may be too intense for small children. Hmm. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I mean, a lot of death scenes are kind of intense for <laughs> some people, so no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> Duplicated by t copyright technologies. And no front day, don't worry. Front of any kind. Because you know, copyright technology, tapes by copyright technologies do not have any kind of printing on the cassette. Nor, yeah, and this one especially doesn't have anything in the vertical blanking in it at all. Well, of all the copyright technologies tapes that I have, that I checked, none of them had anything in the vertical blanking at all, so it's leading me to think that Tapes by copy tapes that are duplicated by copyright technologies don't have anything in the vertical blanking interval. Yeah, that's what I assume. This originally came from CD Game Exchange, but I got this at Goodwill. The printing may be a little hard to see. Like almost like sticker residue or something. And I can read it with a flashlight. It is October 9th, 1997. WHV in white letters. Purchased from Blockbuster on April 27, 1999. Be a friend. Rewind when you reach the end. Number 96. 17th week of 1998. And here's what I found in the vertical blank of all of this tape. There's that. I also have the slipcover copy of this as well, as well as the 2002 VHS release, and the demo VHS. Okay, also number 96, eighth week of 2000. Here's what I found in the vertical blanking interval on this type. There you go. November 27, 2000, number 23. This is the copy with the Snow Wayne and the Seven Dwarfs trailer. I know er some earlier printings of this lack that preview. I might try to hunt down that copy someday. And I did recently order the Spanish VHS of this. You know, the Disney en Espanol print. I ordered the Disney and Espanol VHS of this film from eBay recently. So, I'll probably upload that to Internet Archive once I receive it. As a 7C file, of course. 
and then you can download it from there. Special bonus feature, Ye Olden Days, starring Mickey Mouse. January 2nd, 2001, number 28. Dark sticker label on this one. October 21st, 2001, and number 11. Also came with this little thing. 100 Years of Magic, Walt Disney World, Share a Dream Come True. Celebrate Disney's 100 Years of Magic. Enter, a chan enter for a chance to win a trip for four to Walt Disney World, or one of five first prizes. DVD player and set of 10 DVDs. Or enter online at disneyvideo.com sweeps. And on the other side is a business reply card. This one I got from eBay recently. I uploaded the opening to this. If you want to see it, go check it out. And I'm currently working on trying to get this one uploaded to Internet Archive, as we speak, as a 7Z file. Yep. This is the 2002 VHS release. As you can see, the full MPAA rating screen and the Canadian rating. Rated R for language. 158 minutes. Also available on DVD. And rated PG in Canada. Or in Quebec. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyways. January 3, 2002 and March 5, 2002. Number 7. Yep. The different stock number, two, yeah, two four seven seven two. BVHV, yeah, twenty century Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fox Kids tape. But it's a Buena Vista reprint with a blue lid. And it even has the the newer barcode plastering the old one. March 11, 2002, number 1K. Now, the vertical blanking interval on this one is one of those ones that scrolls to the left. And I try to... And when I tried capturing the VBI from this, I tried to capture different parts of it to kind of put together, put the code together, kind of like a little puzzle. Here's what I, yeah. well, here are the results that I got from putting it together like a puzzle. So there you go. Yeah, despite being a Buena Vista Home Entertainment reprint, it still retains the original box cover art, label, and even tape ma and even the tape masters from Fox. I did check, and it has the Fox FBI I'm wearing at the beginning. December 1st, 2002, number 06.
May 28, 2003 and June 3rd, 2003, I think. It's kind of hard to see when it's kind of struck through like that. Number three. Yeah, it looks like either... Yeah, I think it's June 3rd, 2003. And it has these things inside. Save $2 instantly with the purchase of Airbud World Puff or Airbud 7th Ending Fetch or Airbud Spikes Back on Disney DVD or video. This expired on New Year's Eve of Covers from 2001. The disc is from 1999. And nothing on the other side of that. This one, this two. Blockbuster exclusive. Purchase from Blockbuster on June 24, 2008. Oh, that sticker's kind of peeling, so I'm gonna peel it off. In fact, this one is also Blockbuster exclusive. I also have the French DVD release of this, you know, from France, and it's THX certified. Made in Austria.